The nurse is assigned to care for a client with sodium levels of 122 milliequivalents per liter. Our normal range is 135 to 145. Which assessment findings does the nurse anticipate based on this lab result? Select all that apply. A, confusion. B, abdominal cramps. C, tall peaked T waves. D, hypoactive bowel sounds. And E, nausea and vomiting. Pause here while you think of your answer. To easily remember the key points about severe hyponatremia and its effects, I have three main points I want you all to think about. Number one, think of neuro first when there's a sodium imbalance. Low sodium equals neuro issues like confusion, sleepiness, even seizures. Sodium is crucial for the brain and its functions. So when levels drop, the brain protests loudly. Number two, remember the muscles. Sodium dips can lead to muscle spasms and abdominal cramps. Think of sodium as the muscle's friend. Without enough of it, muscles are going to become cranky and they're gonna start cramping. Which brings us to the third point that I want you to remember. Nausea is a clue. Feeling nauseous or throwing up can signal low sodium. When sodium levels fall, the body's balance is off and this leads to these unpleasant symptoms. So why are two answers incorrect? Well, let's think about choice C. Tall peaked T waves. Well, they're a sign of too much potassium, hyperkalemia. Not too little sodium, hyponatremia. Remember, tall T's, too much potassium. Choice D is also incorrect. Hyponatremia is actually going to make the bowel sounds be louder. This makes sense. If the bowels are cramping, they're gonna have hyperactive bowel sounds. Think low sodium, loud stomach. 